Hello, this is Superintendent Andy Kowalczyk, and this is the December 2023 edition of PASD Monthly. Our final days of December are full of activities during the school day and in the evenings. We hope you are able to join our students and watch an athletic event or music concert before we start our winter break on December 22nd. Twice a year, Pink County Area Schools have the privilege to receive funds through grants from the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe 2% distribution. We recently received over $78,000 for our students and programs. Some of the grantees include Pink County High School Robotics, Pink County High School Metal Shop, Bus Surveillance Cameras, Central Elementary Kindergarten Activities, Mount Forest Cross Country Trail and Parking, and Staff Wellness. We are grateful for the Tribal Council's generosity. The end of the first semester is quickly approaching. Middle school and high school exams will be held on January 11th and 12th. If your son or daughter struggles with tests, it may be a good idea to start getting organized and reviewing the material over our holiday break. One of our Mario Kart eSports teams traveled to Oakland University for the Final Four tournament. Our team successfully defeated Celine in the semifinals and then fell short in the championship to Richmond. We are very proud of our state runner-up team and coaches. We look forward to great things from our eSports teams in the future. The winter athletic season is in full swing. I wanted to remind everyone about the passes available in the athletic office. These passes are good for the entire year. Some events are excluded like team and state tournaments. A family of four will be $200. For a single adult, $75. Students 6th through 12th grade, 30. Students K through 5, 25. And if you're 63 and over in a Bay County senior citizen, it is free. You may have heard me talk about the free parent coaching opportunity through the Cook Center and ParentGuidance.org. December may be a great time to sign up for the parent coaching due to the stress brought on families during the holiday season. I recently received a message from one of our parents who discussed how our unique program has changed her family dynamic and the positive difference it has made. If you are interested in our parent coaching program, please visit the site on your screen or go to the Pink County Area School District website at pasd.org and click the Parent Guidance button. I am with President of our school board, Mr. Mark Kucher. Uh, hi, Mark. Thanks for doing this. Uh, Hello. Can you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Oh, gee, I should probably start with my wife, who's been a uh, teacher in the district since 1995. Most people know her. Uh, people say I ran on her good name, so I'm not supposed to ruin it. Um, but she's been a basically a kindergarten teacher, uh, started with preschool. So I've been married with her. It'll be 28 years uh, in January that we've been together. Uh, all three of our kids have graduated from Penn Conning. Uh, I'm a teacher myself after 10 years of working for Saginaw County Parks and uh, always been involved in the community. Uh, you know, our kids together playing soccer and uh, primarily our daughters. So, yeah, I've been around a while and been involved in the community for a variety of different ways. Um, did you know you wanted to be an educator when you were in high school? You know, I did, but it was a math teacher, not a social studies teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to college, went to CMU, and uh, was on track to, to be a math teacher until I had calculus, and then I had calculus again, <laughs> and uh, I said, well, maybe, maybe math isn't going to be the way I go. Uh -huh. And quite frankly, I was kind of ready to drop out uh, until a friend put me on to Recreation and Parks Administration, and I found out I could get paid to do all the stuff I love. Uh, whitewater rafting, canoeing, volleyball tournament, stuff like that. So made a career out of that for 10 years before it just wasn't conducive for uh, uh, my home life, being a father and, and a husband with my wife being off all summer, I was working. Uh, so I went back to college and got my teaching degree in social studies and been doing it for 20 years now. That's great. Um, how did high school prepare you for your career, your careers, multiple careers? <laughs> I think more than anything, just habits, um, you know, obviously develops your skill, but at such a young age, you know, I want to be a math teacher while well, that didn't happen. A lot about psychology. Well, that didn't happen. Sociology. So I, it's hard to decide that I think at a young age, granted, some people know my wife knew she wanted to be a, you know, young, uh, 
kindergarten teacher since she was probably five years old. She's kind of stayed in that mode. Um, but I always tell my students even now that I, I don't care what you want to be in life or do in life. Uh, three things. You got to show up when you're supposed to. You got to follow directions and you have to do an adequate job, whether that's working at the car wash or owning your own business. You need to do that just to survive. And if you can do everything really well, well, you can thrive. So I think high school starts at its very base is just developing that skill set and those habits, getting up every day, showing up, following directions, asking questions, asking for help, and just developing who you are and taking ownership of it. So I think that's kind of how it helped me no matter what career I had. Great. That's great advice. Now, I know you also continued your education after you had a secure career uh, in teaching. Why was that important to you? Uh, I think just staying informed, staying current, and knowing that I don't know everything, um, even though I'm pretty good at the trivia uh, quest that we do with the uh, fundraising. You are. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks. Uh, so just always searching to be better, improve. Um, you know, I always go back to college and that I learned a lot in the classroom, but I thought I learned just as much outside of the classroom, talking to people from different walks of life. Um, so I, I still apply that to myself today is, you know, I want to be knowledgeable and I, I think I'm pretty good, but I know there's always more out there and I, I just want to be informed and try to make the best decisions I can make, uh, you know, on a personal note, but also on a professional sure. and definitely in a leadership uh, note, like with the uh, school board. Good. Speaking of school board, um, what are the, a few of the main duties that you have or that the school board has for people that may not know? Uh, number one's number one's determine policy. Um, you know, but to me, that it all goes to how do we help the staff? You know, we want the students to grow. We want the students to do this. And we have staff, teachers, support staff, leadership uh, administration. They all need the tools and resources to do that job, that basic job. So we've got to make sure we get as many things out of the way to make that happen, uh, provide those resources, provide that training. Uh, and again, that goes back to keep educating myself and the school board uh, and get in information from, from you and your staff of what do you need to do that job best. And it's ever changing, always evolving. Um, so we have to stay current, um, but yet true to our roots. Uh, so I, I think that's kind of where that's at as far Great. as what the, what the board needs is making those determinations on how we can help the staff best serve the students. Good, what's been your favorite thing as a board member? Uh, really all about the seniors. Um, my favorite night is probably senior awards night. Uh, and then probably graduation behind that, just because it's a small community, you know, you, you know, a lot of the families, especially with my kids going through the last 10 years or six as I coached a lot of the kids. So it seems like I always knew half the graduating kids, uh, in their families. Uh, so to see that celebration, that culmination of all these years of hard work and effort, uh, the relief of the families that the kid finally did it, or the launch pad for the kid's next step at college, career, whatever it may be. It's just, it's that celebration of all the hard work uh, for them and seeing that maybe we made the right decision in supporting this or getting this resource. Yeah. So uh, that's definitely my favorite thing is, is all about the seniors and specifically the senior award night and graduation. Great. Um, what makes the Pink County Area School District special or important? I think it is really all about that community. Um, you know, I always joke about the Mayberry and everybody knows each other and, you know, one stop late town type of thing. And actually we have two, you know, you got yeah, Cody yeah. Estes, so we'll go that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it really is about that. I, I think it's important. And I, I wanted to raise my kids in this community. So I want to keep that, that holistic uh, attitude. Uh, the school is right there at the center of town. It's the center of the community. It's what everybody seems to have in common. Um, so to me, that's important. And I, I want to keep that uh, as true and as good as we can. Great. Um, it is December and it's that holiday time. Uh, do you have a favorite Christmas memory or tradition? Uh, it really comes down to all about my wife, believe it or not. <laughs> we can make her happy. Everybody's happy, right? But, yeah. but no, she's she's a kindergarten, kindergarten teacher, and she's always kind of got that frame of mind. And, and on Christmas morning, she's just like any other kid coming down the stairs. Nice. You know, uh, 
you know, eyes all aglow, that type of thing. <laughs> um, so for our kids to come back and they decorate the tree with her, in fact, I was even away uh, that night and uh, the boys could put the tree up themselves and they get to decorate and nice. they're coming over this weekend to, to do uh, make cookies. And they've been doing that since they were in diapers. Yeah. Uh, so that's making my wife happy. And we're, uh, we're doing Christmas at all be here with their significant others. So uh, it's all about family, you know, whether it's just our little nucleus or my wife has two sisters and their families are all in the, the community. So we get together. Um, so it's just all about community and, whether it's the headaches and the bad times, but all the good times, it's just yeah. establishing those relationships and, and making them more solid. And so it is it's all about family and making the wife happy. I, I get it. All right. Uh, well, I appreciate your time and uh, have a great day. Have a great holiday. Great. Thanks. You too. That concludes PASD monthly for December and for 2023. We will see you again in 2024.